You have clicked or tapped on to the Valley's most in-depth weather forecast video. We are back from the weekend. It's Monday evening. We're almost done with April, and we're really thinking summer with the uh, kind of weather we've had over the last couple of days. And we'll talk about, is it safe to plant yet? Have we seen our last frost and freeze of the season in this video? But first, a quick review of today's temperatures. And as expected, we fell just shy of the record high today. 83 at the airport at 231 this afternoon. The record high back in 1942 is 85 on today's date. And look at that low this morning, 63 um, for an early morning low in late April. That is a full 20 degrees warmer than the average for a low temperature at this time of the year. So I've gotten some questions of late uh, about the frost and freeze concerns. And, you know, it's been no surprise that we are in the middle of a warm April because that's been just the rule over the last several months. We've had very warm temperatures compared to the average more often than not. December was the second warmest on record. February the fifth warmest. February on record. March 11th warmest. And I think April will finish either in fifth or sixth place, probably fifth place. Uh, on the list of warmest Aprils on record. So when we look at the region and our average date of our last freeze, there's some variance here. It's latest usually in the higher terrain of northern PA up towards Bradford and near the New York state line. And the dates of that last freeze tend to get a little earlier in the spring as you get down into some of the lower elevations across the Allegheny Plateau and into a lot of Ohio. And specifically in our area by the very end of April, our historical odds of seeing the last of having seen the last freeze of the season by this point about 40%. Um, these numbers rise quickly, of course, as we head into early May. That's because the average date of our last freeze is about May the 5th in our area. But going forward, looking at the pattern for the next couple of weeks, I would put our odds this year of having seen our last freeze at this point at about 90%. So can you start that garden? Can you put out the flowers? Can you put out hanging baskets without worrying about having to bring them in due to frost and freeze concerns? I think in most circumstances, yeah, we're not going to guarantee it just yet, but we're going to come awfully close and put the odds at about 90% that we've seen our last 32 or lower reading of the uh, season. May the 5th is our 30 year average, but two years ago on today's date, April 29th, we had our last freeze of the season. Last year we waited until May 18th. But again, on average, it's about May 5th. I always tell people to, you know, just to be safe, to wait until about Mother's Day to think real seriously about gardens and flowers and that sort of thing. But uh, looking ahead to the first half of, of May, I just don't see many opportunities for any sort of significant late season cold snap. Of course, nationwide, the story over the last several days has been the tornadic activity that started on Friday and continued over the weekend, including some high end tornadoes. So one, at least one, was confirmed to be an EF4 in Oklahoma from the weekend. There's been a handful of fatalities, unfortunately, and some of these were really uh, picturesque, amazing uh, tornadoes that had, they weren't rain wrapped, and so they were really easy to see from a far distance. They were very easily, you know, uh, videos, videos were very easy to take. Uh, they were very photogenic. You have to remember, of course, that while we can look at awe at these, you know, wonders of nature, um, you got to remember that uh, these things do produce Unfortunately, in a lot of circumstances, a lot of destruction, and unfortunately, from the weekend, some fatalities. All right, nothing like that here at home coming our way, but we do have a cold front heading our way. It's not uh, not much of a cold front. It's kind of a sorry excuse for a cold front. It's producing a few lightning strikes in western Ohio this evening up into the Detroit area in southeastern Michigan. This front heads our way late tonight into tomorrow morning, and so the timing on rain for us in far eastern Ohio and western PA, I think our rain chances will increase as we head towards daybreak on Tuesday, so as you head out the door Tuesday morning, it's going to be warm, it'll be in the 60s again, but there could be a couple of showers around with a small chance of thunder. In fact, we'll hang on to the chance of a passing shower into the afternoon on Tuesday, although I suspect the highest rain chances overall in any one location will be during the kind of the mid-morning hours. That's when most places We'll see raindrops, but in the afternoon, again, I can't rule out a passing shower, a small chance of thunder. I do think there can be some sun working in as we go through the afternoon. The sky will clear at night, setting the stage for the return of summer for the second half of the week. This warm front lifts in Wednesday morning. It's right back to the upper 70s Wednesday into the 80s, Thursday and into Friday. And while we will stay dry into Thursday, our next chance for rain will, will arrive Friday afternoon into Friday night. Might be kind of an unsettled weekend. Uh, the weekend will also feature somewhat cooler temperatures, but again, it's still above the average. We're going to go from the 80s to the 70s. It's not like we're going to cool off into the 50s or anything like that for daytime highs. And, you know, if you watch weather for Weather Geeks late last week, I speculated about a potential 
uh, the potential for a, a deep trough to dig into the Great Lakes and Northeast, maybe around the 7th, 8th, 9th. The models have definitely started to back away from that idea over the last couple of days. And so while as we head towards mid-month, there may be some cooler trends beyond this 10-day period, I think the first 9 or 10 days of May are looking pretty darn warm. And so, again, the, the chances of some sort of very late season cold snap do not appear to be uh, very high for the first half of May. I do think that uh, there are chances for cooler than average temperatures as we go towards mid-month and beyond, but cooler than average in mid to late May doesn't mean cold. It just means, you know, maybe highs in the 50s and lower 60s instead of the uh, upper 60s and lower 70s, or as is the case today and oftentimes over the next few days, highs in the lower 80s. All right, that'll do it for me on this Monday evening edition of Weather for Weather Geeks. Thanks as always for watching. Check me out again on Tuesday for the very latest on our upcoming rain chances, the weekend forecast, and much, much more.